And today we're talking about more fucking knockoff cartoons, right? We, we talked about knockoff cartoons before. But today we're talking about the sheer number of knockoff cartoons that they, they, they target Pixar, right? Because Pixar is one of the best animation companies out there. And they make some great animated features, so they're perfect for fucking knockoffs to rip off, right? Yeah! Terrible fucking knockoffs of fucking Pixar movies. That's what we're talking about. We're doing the top five worst P Pixar knockoffs. Yeah. Starting with number five, which is a ripoff of Up, right? You know, Up, about an old guy who, like, has all these balloons, and he, like, floats away in his house. Yeah. Well, the, the ripoff is actually called What's Up? Balloon to the Rescue. Right? Where up is, like, really huge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's similar to Up. But also not really, right? Cause there's an old guy, right? And he's in a house that's floating with this rainbow balloon. But he's more like a scientist. In fact, there's two old guys. Two old guys and several little kids all on board a fucking flying house. I mean, I mean that, that's part of the thing. Is that they're in a flying house and they run around and do science stuff. Oh, yeah, this, this movie kind of incorporates, you know, Monsters, Inc. Because there's some weird-looking monsters and shit. And apparently these guys are going around and trying to stop these monsters. Oh shit, look, there's a monster on the fucking Eiffel Tower. <laughs> they will rip it off like three Pixar movies right there. You know, Monsters, Inc., Ratatouille, because it's in France. And, 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 and up. And up. Right. Because you got a house there flo floating with a rainbow balloon and shit. Yeah, it's pretty lame. But it gets worse with number four. Which is a rip-off of Cars. Yeah. I mean, Cars is really not a very good Pixar movie. It's pretty bad. But, uh, I mean, they made three of them. I mean, they made fucking three of these Cars movies. They're all terrible. Well, well the knockoff is called Little Cars in the Great Race. Yeah. And it's terrible. Yeah. It's really bad. The animation's awful. And uh, instead of a red race car, we got a yellow race car. Right? Instead of a stupid tow truck, voiced by Larry the Cable Guy... There's this uh, Volkswagen van, who's like stupid dipshit. I, I, I don't even know. This, 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 this cartoon is so fucking lame. Like, hardly anything happens. They're just talking and talking, and then they're driving somewhere, and there's more talking. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's so fucking lame. It fucking sucks. Oh, that gets my motor going. Oh, no, even my niece gets overheated. <laughs> it gets worse. With number three, which is a ripoff of A Bug's Life. Yeah! <laughs> Pixar's A Bug's Life, which is a story about an ant, right? Who, uh, who, who he's an individual living in an ant colony, you know. Yeah, but A Bug's Life already has a knockoff. A knockoff actually produced by a major fucking studio. It's a big budget knockoff, Ants, which was totally created by DreamWorks to compete with A Bug's Life. I mean, that's why it exists, you know. That they were trying to get the jump on fucking A Bug's Life. But there's another movie that actually rips off both of them. It's called Ant's Life. <laughs> right? It's like a rip off of Ant's and A Bug's Life. Together. You should wiggle back to the brush. <laughs> right? And it was produced for like nothing. Right? It was like a bottom of the barrel, low budget fucking animation. It looks like it was produced in like a week. It looks fucking terrible. How you doing? How you doing? I'm Rose. Rose. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Bang. Bang. Man, is it fucking stupid. I mean, the characters look fucking lame. The animation is fucking terrible. It just fucking sucks. This is really garbage. I mean, look at that. What the fucking shit? But it gets worse with number two. Ratatouille, <laughs> which is a terrible rip-off of Ratatouille, right? You know the movie about a rat who's like a gourmet chef in fucking Paris? Well, Ratatouille is about a rat who's a chef in a rat restaurant that's run by rats. And rats dying there, and, and it, it completely misses the point of Ratatouille. He's supposed to be a gourmet chef who could cook food, food, food for people. No, this rat's cooking food for other rats. And it's, and it's so stupid. I mean, the animation is so bad. So incredibly bad. 
I mean, I mean, I can't even tell the difference from one rat to another rat. Because all the rats look the fucking same, you know? In fact, they are the same. I think they're the same fucking model that they just kind of, kind of twisted a little bit. And, yeah, it's really fucking bad. I've actually mentioned this in another fucking video about terrible knockoffs, but it's so fucking bad. I gotta talk about it again. That's just how bad it is. Shit. I hope you all enjoy your wonderful dinner. But the number one, the worst fucking ripoff of them all, right? You actually gotta prepare yourself for it, because it's really bad, right? It's actually ripping off probably one of Pixar's best, which is Toy Story, yeah! They actually made three Toy Story movies, and surprisingly, all three of them are fucking great. Hell yeah! It's remarkable, actually, that all three of the fucking Toy Story movies are actually really good, you know? This story of, you know, Tom Hanks as Woody, and uh, Tim Allen as Buzz Lightyear, you know, and the rest of the fucking toys, they really did make for a really fucking good cinematic entertainment, you know? Damn right. Excuse me. Oh, impressive wingspan! But, as good as Toy Story is, the ripoff is even fucking worse. I, I mean, it's mind-blowingly bad. Oh my god, it's frighteningly bad. I'm talking about a toy's story, right, which... There's a story about some toys, but, oh my god, these are frightening, nightmarish toys. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, wow. I mean, maybe the animation is just, like, really fucking terrible. I mean, it, it, it's flat looking, really bad, looks like it was drawn by, like, a, like a five-year-old or something. I don't even know what the fuck these toys are. I mean, I mean that's a jack-in-the-box. I get that. And that thing, that, 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 that's, that's a skateboard, right? Sure. Right? You got a telephone over here. And some weird looking Game Boy thing. I mean, that's a Game Boy, right? Even though he's got a huge joystick. Looks like his dick. And, and he looks like he's been bedazzled, right? He's covered with jewels or some shit. I, I've never seen a Game Boy quite like that. But, well, what is that thing? What, what, what kind of thing is that? You know? Is that a sock monkey doll or something? I don't even know. And well, what is that thing? That blue thing? What, what is that? What, what the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a pillow? Pillow with a fucking beard? Some weird blue pillow? I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even know, right? But, oh my god, this this creepy, weird, nightmare fuel fucking animation actually does have a story that mirrors the plot of fucking Toy Story, right? I mean, the plot is that it's like Christmas, or something, I don't know if that looks like Christmas, but... Uh, uh, I, I don't even know, because really this movie's not from America, you know? It's from some foreign country. I don't even know if they celebrate Christmas, you know? I balocchi si acquattarono silenziosi in soggiorno. I can't even understand what the fuck it's saying. Like, what are they saying? What language is that? Non saranno di sicuro solo vestiti. Il pacco più grande, quello con il fiocco, sembra proprio che sia un giocattolo. Is that Portuguese? Is that Portuguese? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. But anyway, it's like Christmas or somebody's birthday or some shit, right? And they check out the presents, and there's a baby doll in one of the boxes, right? And I guess that baby doll's basically Buzz Lightyear, right? Because he's, he's a new favorite toy or some shit, right? And the toy that used to be the kid's favorite, which is that weird-looking uh, mo monkey sock thing or whatever the fuck, right? And, uh, and that weird monkey sock thing, like, runs off, you know? Like, runs away... Yeah, and then, like, runs into some fuck fucking garden gnome or something? I don't know, I guess that's what it is. Anche il mio proprietario mi ha gettato via, ma poi ha trovato casa qui nel deposito delle cose vecchie. Non si sta male, sai? Vieni. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. But then the rest of the toys decide to go out and look for a little fucking weird sock monkey thing. So, so it's kind of like Toy Story 2, right? Where all the toys go looking for Woody. Because th this thing is Woody, right? That's Woody, right? And the baby's Buzz Lightyear, and I don't even know. It's so fucking bad. Oh my god, it's, it's so weird. So weirdly animated. Avete ragione. Difendetevi. Non lasciatevi trattare così, disse Michelino. Frankly, the characters are so weird and demented looking. It kind of reminds me of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, right? Yeah, like these are rejected characters from the Aqua Teen Hunger Force universe or some shit. 
<ride> te ciò per inizio. Oh no, disse pronto. Che cosa volete fare adesso, chiese mm, Just weed, just fucking weed. Weird fucking knockoffs of Pixar animated features. Right. Voi siete i tipi che stanno cercando quello strano mucchietto di stracci. Well, anyway, if you know some weird knockoffs, I'd love to fucking hear about it. Write me a comment down below and uh, till fucking next time, keep it fucking real. <laughs>